Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to work with Context in React. Basically what Context is, is a way of providing, uh, providing a way of passing data to different components without having to pass the properties for each um, level of the component tree. Um, you can also pass functions and I'm just going to show you um, passing themes because that's a common thing that it's used for. You can actually have two um, contexts as well providing um, and you can have them at different levels if you want so everything below that will be able to access the um, context for a consumer. So yeah I've got a theme here but I've just got um, light and dark. You might actually want to include actual style sheet themes to make life easier um, when you come to actually applying that styling. You could have like a text theme, you could have a, a text light theme, a text input light theme, all that sort of thing. Um, so you're going to import React because that's how you'll create your context and you'll provide a default value. You don't need to provide a default value, you can set it when you're actually setting up the provider. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import your theme context and from that you can actually wrap whatever you want in the provider. Because I'm providing a style, like a theme, I'm wanting to wrap my whole entire app in it so that anywhere in my app can access the theme and style appropriately. I'm going to make it so that I can um, change the theme as well. So I'm going to show you how to pass a function so it can update the whole this theme for the whole app. So I've got the set theme function um, and my theme variable which is my state so that's why I'm using react state and I've set it to be dark theme. Um, from that I can create a theme style which I'll apply to my view and my text inputs so that they're um, matching the theme. So first up, I'll just style my view so that it's got the nice dark background and now style the text input, I mean the text. Cool, so you've got the nice dark theme there. Um, but now I need to be able to pass my theme and um, an up, a method of updating the theme to the actual... Um, theme context because I want um, to the actual theme button because I want to be able to update my theme from this button. I'm going to make this a really specific button because it's just going to perform one action. It's really purpose is just to show you that you can um, access um, anything that you pass to the theme provider. Um, so yeah, I'm importing theme context because I'm going to use a theme context consumer here. Just renaming this because I think it'd be better named update theme button because it's very specific and using a very specific function. Um, so basically what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to create a consumer and inside that you can handle the context that um, will be provided. And this comes from the value you give the theme context provider or the default value if you don't provide one. I will go back and provide one because I want to add a function that can only be specified from my app.js so because it's going to be providing some state for the whole app. So on button press I'm going to update theme and I'm going to get that function from the context. Just going to give that a title of update theme. Cool, then I'm going to go back to my app.js. I'm going to want to import that button. And I'm going to set up my um, value for my provider now. So I'm going to pass that theme that's that app state. And I'm also going to um, provide a function to update the theme. You could have saved this in async storage and loaded it. And that would mean that you would then be able to Persist it and use the preferences throughout. So yeah, if the theme is dark theme, then I'm going to set the theme to light. Otherwise, I'm going to set it to dark. Okay. Having a bit of issues here. I think it's just how I've defined my um, 
component, so I'll just fix that. Oh yeah, I'm just missing my function here. Cool, that looks like it's back to working. Now if I go back to my app.js, I can go and add that button in. If I click on that, huh, it's not updating. It should be, it's, I've got a set theme. Okay, I think it's because I've got themes dot theme dot dark and see themes dot dark so yeah so now that you see I can up, um just click that button to update the theme even though I don't I haven't passed anything to this button so I'm using that context consumer to get that information now I'm just going to show you that I can access the actual style as well and apply it to my um text inside that um update theme button I'm just going to copy the theme style which I um, specified previously. I'm going to use um, whatever is provided by the provider. I'm just going to style that a bit more to it however I like. Cool. Yeah, so now if I click update theme, you can sort of see that everything updates, even my text inputs inside that view. If you've liked this quick tutorial, please like and subscribe for more content.